Hello people and welcome to my tutorial series. My name is Horia and in this tutorial we're gonna install WebLogic in text mode. In silent mode actually there is no need for human interaction. We're just gonna create a response file and we're gonna install it automatically. You're gonna see. So I reverted my machine so we will have to log in as root. We have an IP address. So we're gonna create a group for the security reasons explained in the previous tutorial group add dls we're gonna add a user to this group and we're gonna also create him create a home for this user user add minus m to create the home the name of the user minus g the name of the group this is how you create it we don't need to set a password for it actually so when you put a minus here it actually logs in to the user VLS using VLS startup scripts and environment variables. If you don't do this, your environment might be polluted by the roots environment variables. So login like, like this. I copied my files in TMP. So uh, we're gonna copy them here. So it was red because we didn't have execute permissions on it. We just modified that. We're gonna unzip the JDK now. Untar actually. Extract zip file JDK. We're gonna set Java home. We're gonna export also the path. So we have Java in our running directory. So we are not gonna use the path from the system. Uh, we are gonna put this into our uh, bash profile so we make it persistent We need to create one more file. It's called aura inst location and it should be in ATC. So we're gonna go to root vi ATC aura lock. 
but actually I don't really know what to write in here, but the installer is gonna tell us, so let's see what the installer says. So, JDK Okay, so in the file we can either run this or put this manually into ATC. Let's just run this. We're gonna put the inventory location in home. DLS Oracle. Actually, we're just gonna put and the group name is gonna be VLS. We're gonna uh, log in as VLS again. Let's clear the screen. Let's rerun the installer. We still need to create a response file for the silent installer. But let's see if it asks us for it. No response file specified. No problem. We have it here. Uh, don't worry about the link. You can actually search for WebLogic response file. I'm just gonna provide you with the link. So we're gonna create a new file. Response file. We're gonna insert that. We're gonna modify this. We're gonna put VLS here. Uh, the rest is okay. And let's modify this with minus response file equal or oh, not equal, just response file. Let's see if it works like this. Ah, it actually needs the full pass for some reason. So you have to do home VLS response file. Okay, so the <laughs> the sample that we got was for Fusion Midware Infrastructure and the only thing that it's different is this Fusion Midware Infrastructure. So we're gonna grab this and we're gonna modify our response file. Hit everything, paste, rerun the installer. So now that everything installed, we can actually see our Oracle file and we can actually go to Oracle common, common min and we can use config.sh to create domains but we are not gonna use that we're gonna use weblogic scripting tool or vlst for short